The Solar Guard team is the biggest organization on the campus of the University of Michigan. It has, at any given time, 100 to 200 students on the team. Um, there's a core group that's about 40 people that does the majority of the work. Doing solar car and school is really hard, so we're trying to make that easier for students. The team runs on a two-year cycle of designing and building and racing and financing a solar car. So right now in the 2009 project, we're in the design phase still. So the aero body just got done, so all the other components of the car are being worked on now. The team competes in two different races. One is the North American Solar Challenge, which last summer went from Texas to Calgary, Canada. And that's a about 2,400 mile race over 10 days. The team actually came in first for the fifth time. Um, and it was really exciting because this year we won by 10 hours, which was a winning margin that was unheard of in solar car history. The next race we have is the World Solar Challenge, which goes across the outback in Australia. This is a five-day race and it's about 1,800 miles, so this will happen in October 2009. This is the first race that the new car, Infinium, will be racing in. So this is the car that we're designing right now and building. The success of the team is really based on the people you have. And to be the strongest team, we need people from throughout the university. It is primarily an engineering project, as you'd probably guess, just because the engineers design and build the car. But on the business side of things, it's about half and half of business school students and then engineers and LSNA people making up the other half. And I think most people join the team just because they're looking for something to do in college, something that's real. This is pretty much as real as you can get. From the engineering side of it, they're getting really real world experience designing or actually fabricating their parts. Um, from the business side, writing proposals, setting up events, doing PR, um, stuff like that. You have to be interested in the technology to join, join the team. This team takes a lot of your time and it's really hard work, so you have to be interested in alternative energy and cutting edge technology. The Continuum project took their car up to 87 miles an hour, so that's pretty good for a car that only has about two horsepower, which is about the same energy output as a hairdryer.